Hi everyone, how are you doing? Um, I'm back with you for another skills video today. Um, I'm going to be sharing with you how to make the all-important bechamel sauce. So you might notice bechamel, you might notice just white sauce or the white lasagna sauce. Um, and it has lots of uses, so it's a really, really good skill to have in your cooking tool belt. Yeah, we're going to be making one today um, without butter. So, um, for no reason, it's traditionally made with butter. Um, but I just sort of want to show you that if you don't have one thing in the ingredients list, it is, there is like nine times out of 10, there is an alternative. So um, that's another thing we wanna try um, and share with you guys. So you don't get put off these, these recipes, but it's more about, okay, so I don't have that, what do I have <laughs> um, in the kitchen? So yeah, let's get going. So this is what we've got. And you see it all, all the oil absorbs all the flour. So once that's happened, once you can't see any more white flour, it's ready to add the water. Here I've got um, one cup of oat milk. You can use any type of milk you want. Um, and then in we go. And then you just want this to thicken up. You're going to see it thicken up, okay? Just keep mixing it. If you do have a whisk, get that whisk out. This is the perfect time. In fact, I'm going to get my whisk out. It's not, it's not an absolute must, but it does. It's a bit funner. <laughs> and you, you can get the lumps out a lot easier. Here we go. So I also wanted to show you what it's like if you think that it's too runny. So this for me is looking on the border of too runny, but, but see how when I'm pushing it and push, pulling it and pulling it, there is that sort of, I like to call it like a, a comet, you know, like it's, like a shooting star thing that you can see at the end. And it's starting to thicken up, see? Okay, so that was our first cup of water, first cup of liquid, and we're gonna add our second cup now. So I'm just using um, a cup of water, because um, I like, <laughs> I'm trying to make my ingredients go far, you know? So I've used one cup of oat milk, and now this is one cup of water. But in essence, it's, it's always, two cups of liquid, regardless of what that liquid is. So, here we go. And again, we're just gonna keep stirring. Um, if you get lumps, just keep stirring. They will, nine times out of 10, they will disappear. So this, just to remind you of our ratio here, we've got um, one, one tablespoon of flour, one tablespoon of water, and two cups of liquid, okay? Um, so that's the ratio that you wanna try and keep in your mind. And as the liquid heats, it thickens. So it's just about having patience. And we wanna mix it, and as we want, as we're mixing it, we want to look out for that sort of comet thing. So when we go through the liquid like this, we want to see a little bit of the pan follow it underneath. This is one of those recipes that you really do have to keep an eye on the whole time. Um, you can't just like put it on and leave it. You've really got to give it attention. But it is quick, so it's okay. You want to remember if you're using um, cow's milk 
um, then there is the potential to burn milk and burnt milk is not very nice. So you really want to make sure that um, you keep this all on a low heat. Okay? Medium heat to start off with, heating up the oil and then after that, once you've added the milk to your pan, that's when we want to keep it to a low heat. So this is what a low heat looks like, very subtle bubbling. And now when I'm doing this, we can sort of see and take this back a bit. We can sort of see the on the side there the comet a little bit. And this is where we add our cheese. So I've got a nice handful of cheese there and it's going to go in. I'm going to mix this up. Now what I really want to show you here is about how to get the desired thickness. So, you know, you might want it thicker than this, you might want it thinner, but once you've got all your ingredients in there, um, it is possible to get it to the desired thickness, okay? So we're no now gonna add our condiments. Okay, so this is a bit up to you. It's like what, you flavor, what flavors you like, what you don't like. Um, and just adding, you know, making it yours. So I've got mustard here, yellow German mustard, just a classic and so delicious. Um, I'm putting half a teaspoon in because it's quite strong. Half a teaspoon. Some salt, half a teaspoon of salt. And some prepped black pepper. Now I just go overkill because I really think a bechamel should be peppery. Yeah. And then I'm also adding a tiny little bit, um, like a, just a pinch really, a pinch of nutmeg. I you can see. Really not much at all. In we go and then giving this a mix. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what it's like. Mm. It's looking good, eh? Cheese is still melting in there. But for my eyes, this is for my desires, yeah, this is a bit too watery. So I'm gonna show you now how you can make it thicker. Even when you followed the recipe, do you know what I mean? Some, some things just <laughs> go unexplained. But I don't want you to think, oh no, this is too watery, the meal is ruined. No, there is a way, so let me show you. So remember when at the beginning we were doing our ratio of one tablespoon of flour to one tablespoon of oil? So that tells us that one tablespoon of flour goes a really long way. So if we just want to make this that tiny, tiny bit thicker, we do not want a whole tablespoon of flour. We don't even want a half a tablespoon. I am gonna go in with a teaspoon, okay? So, a teaspoon of flour in a cup with a little bit of cold water. going to show you that. There we go. So that's our teaspoon of flour with a drop of cold water. And we just want to create um, a little paste, um, but there can't be any lumps in it, okay? Check this out. No lumps. And now we're just going to add this to this. See how that really wasn't that much? Now remember, as this all warms up and the new additions warm up, it's going to get thicker. And we're going to eventually again see those, whoops, see those comets. Just remember to keep stirring. I 
might get my whisk again. Yeah, see how that's thickening up. Let's check this out. See those? The comets. <laughs> choo, choo, choo. This looks like a really good thickness to me. Um, so again, if you wanted it thicker, you just repeat the, the little flower and water step. Um, and again, if you imagine you put too much of that flour in, then you just go ahead and add a little drop by drop of your of your chosen milk, okay? So it is about feeling and intuition and what, about what you want to achieve at the end of the day. So there we have our bechamel sauce. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it's a really, really handy, handy skill to have. Um, and yeah, like you can use soy milk, oat milk, Almond milk, oh, I don't know if I'd like that. It'd be quite a strong, because it's quite a strong taste. But your more subtle milks, like your oat milk, your soy milk, that would also work, um, as, you know, as does cow's milk. And then in terms of the butter, um, you can use butter, you can use oils. Um, it's, it's about sort of trying to use what, what you have available to you. Um, and yeah, hope you've enjoyed this.